Come on, would you tell us your name? Hey, yo, I'm Yana. Power to the people! All right, we did it, we did it! Hey, we out here, we family, let's act like it. We got children out here, we got families out here. We work, we work hard, we deserve this sh so enjoy it. We are family, right? Right? All right, you know why we here? We, they know why we here. You know, they come out, they harass us, they treat us like we're not nothing, but today we something, right? All right, so power to the people, enjoy yourself. I love you all, you guys are beautiful, stay beautiful. Hey, I just want to tell everybody I am so proud of you. I am part of Occupy LA. I rolled up yesterday afternoon and I saw the cohesiveness of this camp and I said to myself, these people have it going on. With that, I just wanted to tell everybody we are in complete solidarity with Occupy Oakland. Occupy LA is part of Occupy Oakland. And I'm going to take this message back to LA and I'm going to explain to them that we are one leg of this chair of this movement. That's New York, Chicago, Oakland, LA. And it has to be solidified. It has to be strong and that message will get through. Again, I am so proud of you guys. Keep up the good work. Hi everybody. I'm supposed to be an MC. I'm a little bit late. Yeah. The whole world is watching Oakland right now. You know, this week after we were violently evicted by the police, there are solidarity demonstrations with us in Cairo, Egypt, and Genoa, Italy, all over the place. So let's. Okay. Stay in the box. I just woke up. All right, we're gonna chant, all right? This is the favorite chant of the occupation. It goes, strike, occupy, shut them down. Oakland is the people's town. Strike, occupy, shut them down. Oakland is the people's town. Occupy, shut them down. Oakland is the people's town. Strike, occupy, shut them down. Oakland is the people's town. Strike. Here in the middle of the intersection at 14th and Broadway in downtown Oakland, we're literally looking right up at the sun illuminating the big clock tower on top of City Hall here in Oakland. City employees were being encouraged or at least permitted to take the day off from work and come to the protest, the general strike here, but the police were not. What's interesting is there have not been a lot of police. I have really not seen any police in the two hours I've spent here at the Occupy Oakland protest, walking around the camp, no cops walking around the intersection, blocking the street. No cops. I spoke to one guy from Occupy Humboldt. What brings you out here today? Like you're here from north of here? Um, I'm here from Humboldt County, uh, from the Occupy Humboldt occupation on uh, Humboldt State University. I'm just here to, you know, stand in solidarity with uh, the general strike that's going on here today. Of course, standing in solidarity with Wall Street all the time, 24/7, and uh, all the other occupations in the country, and. Uh, Hopefully uh, here to see a couple thousand people march in the streets. How does this measure up to what's going on in Humboldt County? Well, this is a lot bigger, of course, than what's going on in Humboldt County. Um, but I think that the issues that uh, people have in the cities generally are a lot bigger. I'm going to be honest and say that Humboldt County 
does not have is not doing too bad. There's a lot of counties in the country that are doing a lot worse. Than I was going to say, like intuitively, Humboldt County seems like a much more laid back place. I was almost surprised to see that there was a, a Occupy Humboldt. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's actually three occupations going on in Humboldt County, which is Occupy Humboldt at HSU campus. There's one in downtown Arcata and one in downtown Eureka, right outside the county courthouse. I'm um, going on. So, uh, county uh, Humboldt County is actually a very, very active county um, in this movement. So, yeah. well, tell uh, you got optimism today. You think how does this end? What is a good outcome for what happens after this? Well, a good outcome is is uh, hard to say. I, I want a lot of people to say wow, just to say wow. This is really impressive, and what gives me hope is to see how slow traffic is at this hour in the middle of downtown Oakland. I have the feeling there should be more more car traffic going on, more people going to work, more things being delivered and whatnot. And uh, I, I really don't see very much traffic for a town this size. Maybe people marching in suits as well as hoodies? Um, hopefully. Hopefully. I'd, I'd, I mean, that'd be a beautiful picture for sure, yeah. Tell me your name. My name's Leo LeBeau. Leo, thank you very much. This is the people's movement. We're all part of the people. So I'm standing here at the intersection 14th and Broadway. Here's one of the 99% here. Tell us your name, brother. My name is Ali. Ali, have, have you been staying out here? Or is this your first time here at 14th and Broadway? I've been pretty much been here since the beginning. Woo! What happened to you on the night of the police raid? Uh, they came right in my tent, uh, started uh, shaking it up, beating uh, with their uh, with their batons, uh, dragged me up out of there, uh, knocked uh, my shoes and everything out of my hand, and had me standing out on a concrete barefooted for almost an hour, hour and a half or so. And that's all about it. It wasn't much. <laughs> I just, can tell us, Brother Ali, why have you been out here? Subject yourself to arrest and all of that. Oh uh, man, there's, there's a lot of reasons for uh, for, for uh, why I've been out here. Uh, one of the reasons is like uh, schools that's been getting closed down, libraries and uh, teachers that are uh, being fired, uh, healthcare being cut out. I spoke to a union guy selling union support buttons for a dollar just to ask him exactly what sort of the union angle of all of this was. I came out here because I'm a union member, I'm a retiree, I'm on a fixed income and I'm watching the unions make concessionary bargaining deals every single day across this country and it's going to ultimately hurt all the union members. We're never going to rec recover the losses that are uh, are hitting that we're being hit with and so I'm out here now supporting the Occupy movement and hopefully the union members will get the idea that the general strike is the real deal to get things changed in this country however the labor aristocracy the head of the AFL, AFL CIO the international presidents they refuse to go on strike because they're in bed with the Democratic Party. And until that changes, nothing's going to change. We're going to continue losing our, our, our benefits and our wages, and their benefits and wages stay the same. So they're basically indifferent to our situation, even though they claim to feel our pain. Let me just ask you, how does this end? Like, what will be, what will be a satisfactory outcome? A satisfactory outcome is that we regain our power as union members and as citizens of this country. And that means at this point we've got to get rid of capitalism. No, it's an economic system. It's an economic system that's brought us to this moment in our history, and it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. What's your feeling talking, seeing the protesters out here today? Does it give you optimism? Well, I've already been with the protesters of Occupy in Denver about three weeks ago and in Chicago three weeks ago, spent time with them, and I've also spent time here. I think this is really great. You'll see a lot of young people, and there should be a lot of young people here because they're the people that can't get jobs, and they're going to suffer about as much as the pensioners. So that's, that's I, I'm 100% for it. Excellent. Well, thank you. Tell me your name. My name is Charles Smith. I'm retired from Ask Me International. How does this measure up to the ones in Chicago and Denver? I mean, is this bigger, smaller? This is much bigger and much more militant, in my opinion. But, of course, uh, they've been attacked by the police like I've never seen before. And I, I was a veteran of the Democratic Convention in Chicago and People's Park. And what I saw in the videos, at least, of what took place down here the other night is just unbelievable. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So why are you guys, why are you guys here today? Uh, because we need to shut down the 1%. Shut down! Shut down! What does that mean? 
that means we need to stop the way that the capitalist system has been working because it hasn't been working for people of color and low people income got, people. People got shot for um, guns. People got arrested for no reason. Yeah, and w is, is that bad? Yes. How come? Because it is. So, what are you going to do here today? Occupy. Occupy, huh? Is this, is this exciting? Yeah, I've been going to go to school. Oh, really? <laughs> That's cool. So, okay, so tell me, like, what's going to be a good outcome today? What's going to, what, what will be a result that'll be, like, a good thing? Um, if people start to recognize their power again, I think we've lost sight of how much power we hold as a people. Um, and so we need to take that back. So even if it's not a massive strike, um, if we begin to uh, reorganize and recollect our power, it'll be enough. And you brought your kids here today. Like, you know, talk about what you think this means to them. Um, it's, it's very important for my daughter as trying to raise her as a conscious young woman. It's very important for her to see what's going on in our community. Um, and this is a big event and this is a big movement that has a possibility to change the way that we engage with each other. So it would be crazy for me to leave her at home. So tell me your name. Sunshine. Tell me your name. Calico Howard. I go to lower school. So 9 o'clock is almost here at Broadway and 14th Street in downtown Oakland right across from the Rite Aid, right across from the Walgreens, and literally right across from City Hall in downtown Oakland. Uh, buses are not able to proceed through the intersection here because the protesters have it blocked. There are people literally blocking sort of the, the access of this AC transit bus, the 51A Rockridge BART line. It's not able to get out of the intersection here. There are riders on the bus sort of wondering if they're going to be able to proceed because clearly the people in the protest have the uh, intersection blocked, although there's a guy with a walkie-talkie, maybe with the city or some sort of security, trying to, a single guy I should say, trying to sort of clear the way so the bus can make its right turn. <laughs> One of the people on the bus actually raising their hands apparently in solidarity with the protest. There's a taxi sitting right literally smack in the middle of the intersection. It's definitely a taxi driver who is on strike because he's holding a, a on strike sign out his window. So, sir, yes. why, why are you here today? I was just going about my own business, going through this intersection, and all these protesters got in my way. What can I say? Uh, I was on strike to start with, but uh, I am so behind this. I am so happy. This is the I've been an Oakland resident for 17 years. This is my proudest day as an Oakland citizen. That's amazing. Well, sort of talk about what you think would be a good outcome. At what, what, what's the point of this? What would be a good outcome at the end of the day? I think the media asking that question is what the media does. I'm not so sure it's, we're ready to answer it yet. Our job now is to occupy and bring the issues that have been squelched for so long to the surface and have them addressed properly. But if we go on with some measly little demand uh, and that, you know, they'll, they'll either one, box us in, the media and, and these people that live in these big buildings, you know, you work in these big buildings, and they'll just fire hose us away. I think this, this Occupy movement, which is sweeping the world, is the thing that we need right now, today, and for the foreseeable future. Well, thank you very much. Tell me your name. I'm Brad Newsham. I'm 60 years old. I'm a San Francisco cab driver. I live a mile and a half from here in Oakland. There's a media tent. There's a library tent where you can borrow a book. The rules of the library tent say if you want to borrow a book and keep it forever, do it. There's a, a very fascinating food area where uh, you can come get some fresh food. There's uh, canned goods on shelves back there and even a solar-powered refrigerator for meat and perishables. Of course, whenever I come to a protest, it's always interesting to read the signs. There are the signs that say, stand with the 99%, kind of the mass-produced signs, but also the handmade signs, I'm 99%, I didn't get no bailout. Tax the rich and their corporations. Recall Mayor Gene Kwan or Kwan resign. We want jobs, not jails. Uh, I think you might imagine there's a little bit of support of legalization of pot out here. In fact, there's uh, perhaps direct action on that front. You can definitely kind of even smell the occasional whiff of pot, but that's another thing. Thing. The media has made a little bit of a meal out of the smell of the various Occupy protests. I got to tell you, I'm pretty sensitive to bad smells. I have not smelled anything offensive. There were no smells of uh, human waste. There were no smells of rotting food. I have not seen a rat. The only smell that was even slightly out of the ordinary, and this is downtown Oakland after all, but the only smell I even detected all day was the brief occasional whiff of pot. 
signs aren't just in English. There's a Spanish sign. Embargo, I'll... 1%, embargo the 1%, uh, bail out the schools, not the banks. The system has no future. Uh, consider a maximum wage, has another sign written on a piece of a cardboard box with a crayon, it looks like. And of course, just in case you were wondering if he was coming, Frank Chu is here holding a sign that says Laughing Squid. Reporting from the Occupy Oakland protest and the general strike on Wednesday, the 2nd of November 2011, I'm Sebastian Kuntz, Green 960.